What's up, my Geminis? Welcome to BMHP's Table Etiquette. How are you guys doing? I thank you guys for jumping into my energy. Hopefully, something here resonates. Uh, once you come back a little bit more, of course, you um, your energy will kind of be intertwined with mine. You'll get a better, more accurate reading. But either way, Gemini, let's go ahead and jump into this energy. See what's up, what Beloved wants you to know at this time. Beloved, what's going on with Gemini? What does Gemini need to know at this time regarding them, their person, or life situation? Oh, wow. So, in a minute, in a minute as I lay more cards, the, the cards tend to get a little darker, so bear with me. But, um, the Five of Swords... El Diablo, the sun, wow, judgment, the eight of wands, the seven of wands, the three of swords, the two of swords, the ten of pentacles, the page of pentacles, the knight of pentacles, and the chariot you know um Gemini I'm not sure what these these excruciating changes you've been through but it seems like I don't know did someone betray you like literally when I say betray I mean like did someone literally like stab you in the back? Um, like someone you trusted, someone you put like a level or thought they held a level of integrity where you were able to trust them, where you were able to um, be open, honest and authentic with them. And they took it for granted, betrayed your trust. Cause what I'm kind of getting Gemini is that like, there was someone who who you trusted, who you believed, Gemini, that would never do like anything like this to you. But they like hid something from you. They were like a um a snake. Like which is like to me one of the worst things you could be sometimes. Like you could be like a um you could be like a lion. Those are very dangerous. Um, you could be like, you know, all these things, but a snake is slimy, slivery. You can't trust them because they like, they're the quiet, silent type. You know, at least, at least if a person's in the spirit of this lion or something like that, and you could be de dealing with the Leo since I'm talking about Leo here. But, um, you know, when a person's in the energy of a lion, you see them coming, you know that, you know, they could flip on you at any type of time but a snake is one of the most sneakiest slimiest like creatures and you they just attack out of nowhere so i feel like out of nowhere something kind of happened um someone someone's true colors was exposed someone's um lack of integrity i keep in the word integrity like somebody held someone up on a pedestal or um you know praise them in front of people just to have to now explain to people they were completely different or something like that but i feel like i feel like gemini you may have surrounding yourself with a lot of lower vibrational people i don't feel this energy of like them really revealing their faces to you or really showing you who they were it was something that i feel like that happened to you which recently allowed for you to be able to see more clearly who people are around you and not trust everybody right something you found out something something was told to you um, you've seen some letters, an uh, email, you've seen a social media post. Why do I feel like if you found out on social media, it was subliminal? But you, it was like shocking because it was like you didn't expect it from this person. Like, you didn't even know this person could be this way or these people. But I see like, 
Gemini, what the what happened with these people? It's like if people can't I'm getting for your reading, I'm picking up people. I'm not so much picking up um love. It could be love, but I'm picking up more of like family, friends, co-workers, people within your circle that suddenly switched up on you or changed on you, or it was something that revealed to you, showed you something different regarding your connections. Cause I see like I don't know. Did it did it take did it take for someone to really like hurt you to for you to realize that you didn't have nobody that was there for you or everybody was hoping that you failed in some type of I mean it could be a love relationship but that's not the way I'm getting it. The way I'm getting it is like it's like you trusted people for some reason. I don't I still I still never get why people are so damn trusting in 2022. I mean, it sounds horrible when you say it, like if you trust people. But honestly, like when you look around the world we live in, like who can you really trust that far? I mean, the minute you trust is the minute you get disappointed because you don't put an expectation on a person. Just, you know, the way I kind of see it is I'm going to trust you as far as I can see you. Because I don't know what you're ca capable of. Your hidden thoughts may be the things that scare me. And I feel like whatever happened, Gemini, it came out of nowhere. It could have been a person, your person, that betrayed you or something. That broke your heart or something. But I feel like... I feel like you awoken to a situation where you, um, you learned not to be so open. To kind of, um... Kind of, um... Be more skeptical. Be more careful. Like I, this must have something to do with a family situation or a long-term friend or something like that. Why am I picking up the Dakotas? Or someone's name is Dakota or something like that. But um... You know, Gemini, it's like, it's like to the point now, and it's crazy, and I don't know why I'm getting this, but it's to the point now where you'd rather trust, like, um, you know, animals than people. I feel like somewhere, like, something recently broke your, um, broke your, your beliefs and esteeming people in your life. Like, I feel like that may have been a big thing for you. Maybe you're the type of friend that's always bragging on your friend. You know, they're in IT. They do this. They do that. They have, I, you know, something broke. Something shifted. But I see, like, now, Beloved has been speaking to you. Beloved has been talking with you and showing you these things that you were blinded to, you know? And it feels like this is finally going to be an opportunity where you can break free of these type of energies or people and move forward with your life. Let's see here. What else does Gemini need to know? So it does have something to do with people. So you have the world, the two of pentacles, the four of cups. The Seven of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, Judgment, the Fool, the Ten of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Six of Wands, Temperance, the Ace of Swords, and the Page of Swords. At the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Wands. I don't know why, Gemini, but Leos are always in your energy. So this could be regarding a Leo female or Leo feminine energy. Could also be masculine. Any any um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries type energy. But with these additional cards, I'm kind of getting the same story for you, Gemini. Like... I don't know, it's like somebody betrayed you, but Beloved was there. Beloved saw it and like put a hedge of protection around you. For some reason, I feel like this is a fire sign 
or had something to do with a fire sign that betrayed you or something. But I see that you were still like interested, right? Like, nah, that can't be true. Like, like, I don't know if you didn't believe initially. If it took you some time to believe that um someone or something wasn't right. It's like beloved was trying to consistently communicate what you tell you. Cause I see, I see Gemini that you have a lot of of and endearment is the term i'm getting i was gonna say love but i'm hearing endearment towards whoever this is that you're coming to this reading about why do you put people on this pedestal this is what you, this is this queen of wands energy that i'm getting that you put on a pedestal I don't know why, who this person is or how it applies to this reading. But whoever this Queen of Wands energy is, this could be a friend, could be a mother, could be your significant other, could be a co-worker. Whoever this person is, you like exalted this person. And, and in, order, in order for Beloved to get you to see the right way to view humans, the right way to get to uh, view people. Whatever this information is that you found out, whatever this this um this thing that you saw, whatever happened, it had to come. So you wouldn't be blinded to the situation. You know, I feel like you were too trusting. But now you get an opportunity to see. Now it's like you're more wiser. Like you're not you're not just open like you were. You're wiser and stuff. You're seeing things from a different perspective. Things that you previously ignored, you know? Well, let's see here. What else does Gemini need to know? What else does Gemini need to know, please? What else does Gemini need to know? And then the other thing, Gemini, you need to decide who gets to get on your bus, who gets to ride in your ship or ride in a car with you. Like you need to, and I think the bus is the, the best analogy I can give because let's say it's a small bus. There are six seats. You know, you got six people and you're all supposed to be going towards the same goal, the same mission, whatever. But two out of six is in the back you know, drilling holes at the bottom of the bus, you know, busting tires. I mean, you really got to figure out um, who should be on your bus. This is regarding a woman. This comes back to that fire sign energy. What is it? Dealing a relationship with a woman. Okay. So it could be someone in your family with this whipping willow, family sorrow, or short journey. You know, with this short journey... I feel like this is what you need to be on with yourself. I feel like you do need to take some time out away from people and figure out what the hell just happened, Gemini. A broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. So, um, this is that broken trust, broken relationship, broken whatever. And it happened because it needed to so you can see someone's true color someone's truth instead of putting them on a pedestal look at this shit here rat someone working against you behind your back now remember whoever this woman is <laughs> huh. remember i was talking real 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 long and hard about the snake and the lion right I mean, the, yeah, the snake and the lion. There's the lion. I'm just saying. To me, this is the snake, the rat. Someone working behind your back. It's a blessing that you were able to, um, to see this before it continued. Okay. But, um, what's the message for Gemini at this time? And we're going to close out this reading. What's the message for Gemini? <laughs> see only love look past the seeming errors mistake and misunderstanding and see only the love within each person including yourself 
Your resolute focused upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing and other dreamed up ways. You know, and I feel like Gemini, this is the energy they want you to maintain because obviously you are a person that loves people, like give of yourself without hesitation. But like see the situation in a loving light, right? Like um not holding grudges, not um being bitter or angry or upset or any of those type of emotions, but see it. Have mercy and pity on that person that has lost you in their life. And just, you know, don't absorb up those negative feelings. Because for whatever reason, I feel like this has the potential to fester into a bitterness towards someone. So, either way, Gemini, that's the reading I have for you. Hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Leave me some comments down below, you guys. Let me know what you think. I love to hear from my subscribers. And until next time, Gemini. Take care.